Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Bodie again with IPTVWire.com. I hope you guys are having a great day today, and I just wanted to bring over a quick update about the new Kodi 20.2 Nexus release. This was just released today by the official Kodi developers, as it says July 2nd, 2023. Now, we have a complete guide here that has all of the details, how to download on any device, and just any information that you would want to know about this new 20.2 Nexus release. Now, before I dive in too much further about the details of the 20.2 Nexus update, it's first important that I mention that Kodi by itself is 100% legal to install and use on any device. You'll notice here we are inside the Google Play Store where Kodi is available for installation. Kodi also provides dozens of verified and legal uh, free add-ons that can be installed from their official repository using any applicable Kodi device. Now looking at some of the details of this 20.2 Nexus update, it's first important to call out that this is now the most stable version of the Kodi software. You know, one question we get all the time at IPTV Wire is what's the most up-to-date version of Kodi? And this does frequently change, but now we can say it is 20.2 Nexus. However, it is important to also mention that if you're using an older version of Kodi 20 or Kodi 19 Matrix, and it's working well for you, we suggest you don't update. You know, if you have a great setup that's, that's working for all your needs, um, no need to mess with it in our opinion. So when you look at this note from the developers here, they had an official release note and as it says, as is always inevitable in software, we are back with a new release of Kodi Nexus. This includes an assortment of bug fixes, some back ports, so no real new features. The full changelog since 20.1 is on GitHub as usual. So when you dive in deeper to some of these details hinted by the developers, you'll notice here we have different categories. We have audio, estuary. Now estuary is actually the default skin of Kodi for those unfamiliar. Um, they've done something to their game and retro player. Um, and this one seems somewhat important here. A whole assortment of fixes were made to fix building Kodi with whatever GCC 13 is, but that appears to be a general bug fix. Um, so there's some platform specific updates. Um, you'll notice PVR. So for those unfamiliar, PVR is actually the live TV client that you can install within Kodi and upload any M3U playlist. So that, that's a cool uh, feature that Kodi offers. Uh, something with Python. Um, and there's also some video updates here, it looks like, too. And then if you scroll down, um, you'll notice they have a final release note here, just kind of thanking all the users and just letting them know if there are some still fixes that need to be made um, or just anything you want to reach out to the developers on the forums. They say, please don't hesitate. So these guys are, are pretty cool, it seems like. Um, now, when it comes to installing Kodi 20.2 Nexus, the best way to do that is through their download page. So we've included a link to this in our article, and I will include a link to this also in the description below. Um, but you'll notice here, Kodi has a direct download for Android, um, and it is updated to the 20.2 Nexus version. It's important because in Google Play, um, a lot of these you know reputable app stores, they don't have the most up-to-date version of Kodi. Like you see here, they'll have sometimes Kodi 19, maybe just the first version of Kodi 20. Um, so it's very important that you're using the official download source when you're installing these apps. Um, and we also recommend that you use the ARM v7a 32-bit. So I want to thank you guys for watching this quick video about the new Kodi 20.2 Nexus update. The final thing I want to mention is our exclusive VPN deal with Surfshark. Now, we will leave a link to this in our description below. Um, but with our link, you do get 82% off and two months free. This is an incredible VPN deal if you guys are looking for a new VPN to start streaming. Um, again, this is Bodhi, and I just truly appreciate you guys being here, and I look forward to creating more video content for you guys very soon. Have a great day.